It's the Mystic Four. Welcome, everybody. It's great to have you here for the Mystic Four on this beautiful day. We have with us Val of Dragonfly Crystals, Next Level Channeling. Dragonfly Crystals, Next Level Channeling. <laughs> we have Cleo the Seer. Hello, Cleo. We have Aries Girl Tarot, Allison. I'm Tarot Stash. Thank you for being here. Um, <clears throat> this is for entertainment purposes only. Do not make decisions based upon what we say. Seek professional assistance. Really. So there you go. Please do all of the YouTube-y things and like, share, and subscribe. It's free. Well, it does go. help us. Please do I'm all sorry. I apologize. Okay. Taking care of ladies and gentlemen, that was Dragonfly Crystals Val with an amateur uh, phone event. <laughs> <laughs> an amateur phone event. Good lord. Sorry. <laughs> Good lord. So, um, Val, tell us what you've got coming up on your channel. Uh, coming up on my channel, actually, I am very, um, I just have the usual shows, I don't have anything coming up that is different than usual uh until you might hear something from the cool crone about some new show but i'm not going to reveal it <laughs> so basically but I've, you're going to be taunted about it <laughs> i got the sisters of the mystical tarot on wednesday i got uh, i have messages for light workers on thursday with marina and um uh that's good enough you can look on my um Community, my um, yeah, on my live stream to see what's coming next. So, like <laughs> and subscribe to Dragonfly Crystals. Thank you, Gerald. I, I do this, I, I lean in because I have this microphone and it sounds so good. Doesn't it's it? very sexy and nice. <laughs> oh, good lord. Thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> oh, sorry, Cleo, what do you have coming up on your channel? Well, um. I, there's something on Wednesday with uh, the cool crone, Colleen the cool crone, about reveal the future. I I have a problem making it to that show because I don't do Wednesdays on here. But um, if anybody should, you know, you should go to that show. It's it's very good. But I just I don't know if I'll be there or not. And then on Thursday I've got a show with um, Marina and Colleen and me and we're doing a the kitchen table issues we've done one of these once before Ooh. and on friday uh i've got a polyterology with val and gerald and marina and colleen and me so that's that's what i'm doing for the rest of the week cool. i forgot about that reveal the future um because i don't have my calendar in front of me Everyone try and make it for the 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time show for the world meditation to bring mm -hmm. about a better future for the world. So nice. that's yeah, great. It's a, very, it's a cool thing. Nice. Allison, Aries Girl Tarot, what do you got coming up on your channel? Well, I actually finally made a couple of videos. Um, I just uploaded the reading for Sagittarius and today I uploaded a reading for Leo. And then mm -hmm. I'm, I'm on with uh, Heather every Friday, Eastern standard yes. time. 
uh, sell alchemy with Indigo Jaguar. And that's really it. I'm pretty involved with my personal life right now. But um, oh things are good. <laughs> and welcome to Aries series season, everybody. Uh, we are in the sign of Aries. It's my favorite time of the year. I am an Aries. Uh, my birthday was last week. And um, just wanted to mention that. It's my favorite time of the year. As we had a yes, as a moon and Aries person, I, I totally agree with you. It's a it's wonderful a great time. time. I, I, you know, and I'm kind of half joking about the whole Aries, but it's like, I love this time of year. Um, we yeah, aren't quite sure. spring yet. We got five inches of snow in Michigan on Friday, but today it was 60 degrees. So you never know what you're going to get. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. So um, yeah. I'm Tarot Stash. I have tomorrow, I have. Tuesdays with Tara Stash, exclusively on Jane the Seeker. I have a Laugh and Learn with Medium Betsy Palmer and Hershey, the Shadow Reader. We are actually talking about um, patience, trust, and ownership mm -hmm. when it comes to connecting with your guides or your spirit team or deity, the divine, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And then... A back and forth with Jamie and or with Jamie and Gerald, where Maruta is going to be asking us questions. Mm. So I'm I'm very excited about that. I have a couple of shows on Friday: Oracle of the Hecatean Path, Deck Casual, Yes or No readings uh, with um, Hershey and Thomas, Polyterology, and Wednesday I'm with Marina in the afternoon. I'm also, the reason I can't join you for the Reveal the Future is that I'm doing readings with Astrological Tarot. So, um, and that's why there's playback people because there's so much stuff going on. That is true. So let's say hi to some of the best chatters. Hello, best chatters. And I for, love playback because I miss so much these days and I, I can too. go back and, yeah. yeah, I don't catch many lives these days. I just wanted to say that playback's great, yeah, everybody. Playback is great, especially because you can play it back at a faster speed. Yep. And I do um, that sometimes. <laughs> I, I do that all the time. I do that all the time. For those slow talkers. Yes. <laughs> um, Casey, Karen, Moira. Um, mods, please watch Dragonfly Crystals. <laughs> Nivra, uh, Alice, Laura Bondurant. Good to see you. Up. Uh, Medium Betsy Palmer, who will be on my channel tomorrow. Gomez mm -hmm. is here, or Garnet, sorry, Gomez. Garnet, good to see you. Amanda Carroll, and Lisa Niedemeyer, Louise C. And I know people are just like, a, this is not romper room. Well, guess what? I'm the host. We can do whatever I want. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, give it a, give it a thumbs down. It's fine. Laura uh, Louise C. And we have Nana Heather, Joyful Journey, Pierrette. I probably am missing some people. Uh, Mary Louise, I may have already said. Uh, Bondurant. Okay. Um, Alice L. Beth Aspasia Rising is here. Rossi, good to see you. And uh, Laura Bondurant said, I am going to check that out, Allison. It'll be good. Amanda Carroll is Jupiter in Aries and wishes you a happy birthday. Uh, P is Eclectic Life. We're going crazy. I'm already off the rails, but I'm sounding very good as I'm off the You're rails. You're sounding very good. There you go. Um... um how do you pronounce that? Ivro. 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 Okay. Good to see you. Yeah. Julie. Um, uh, and um, Gerald, you need one of those magical tools Hermione, Hermione used in Harry Her Potter because she could be in two places at once. Yeah. At those time, the little clock that what she. What's that called? I don't remember. Somebody will know. So, uh, okay. And Linda Ann, good to see you. Star Midnight, uh, Earth Star, hello, Shelly Joe, and Romper Room. There you go. <laughs> well, I love it welcoming everybody too. It helps me feel connected. Mm -hmm. So, and so, 
Here we go. Of course, the honesty says there, hence keep doing just that, because that's what I'm going to do. Nice. And um, Amanda Carroll. So how this operates is if you would like a reading, please type it all in caps. We are going to do as many readings as we can. I will watch it and put, um, put a cap on the reading. Right now we have four. Um, and um, ah, Ba Haven is here. Hi, Ba Haven. Good to see you. Um, Love Joy is here. Hello. Um, so no political questions. Uh, that's a different show. No third party questions. That means if if it's not about you, we're not going to be answering it or we'll change it. And um, no legal or health questions. So um, but other than that, ask anything you want. <laughs> well, okay, okay. See, 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 see uh, and, you know, and Allison is even smiling. I can just hear her laughing with her. I mean, she's muted, but she's laughing because it's just like going, yes. Uh, you know, and well, uh, maybe, maybe one time we're just going to show up and uh, we're only going to, you ask for me and we'll give you a general reading. We're not answering specifics, but stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. Um, yeah. Does that include the lotto numbers? <laughs> um, I have already got the lotto number and um, trust me, you will know when I've won the lottery. <laughs> Unfortunately, spirit guides have never been able to give me the right numbers. They just don't, they're just not good with numbers. No, it's not, it's not their thing. It's really weird. They're not good with numbers, but they're really good with math. I just don't understand why. I, I don't think that that's how they, for some reason, there's some kind of a, a reason why why we're not supposed to just play a game of, of gambling yeah. and win something. I guess right. they keep, they keep saying it's a, a game of chance. Weapon. It's a mm. game of chance, they keep yeah. saying. But that, the numbers that, when you're trying to predict timing, they, yeah. they're way off on that. So, yeah, timing you know, is no good. Well, things, they're good at it. Did anybody ever see the, uh, the X-Files show where the guy – um was was always one number off of winning the lottery it was always mm -hmm. one number off of winning things and it was just hilarious oh that would have so, been so frustrating yes. yeah. okay <laughs> readings are closed right now we have 12 and i like how laura laura bonderon says this is serious peeps and if i was planning i would have actually brought the peeps that i have here because i am a big fan of the peeps <laughs> I'm a big fan of the peeps, so <laughs> it's it's all good. So, um, oh, and Laura uh, Laura Hammond Davis is here. Hi, Laura. Uh, but she saw them all. So um, questions are closed. Um, all right, uh, <clears throat> let's see what we can do. And if we've answered the question before, oh, by the way, let me ask you all. Um, do you want two people to answer the question so we can get through more people or how do you want to do this? We can do that. Okay. Um, Val and Cleo together. Allison, are you okay with me? Of course, I'm not giving Allison a chance to, you know, say. <laughs> Alice and I will be reading for you. Um, so, all right. So first up for Val is uh, uh, Val and Cleo is Laura and then for for us, Allison is joyful journey. What does spirit want me to know? Okay. So there we go. All right. Um, no, B A Haven. I. I do not try all the new flavors of peeps because that is just inappropriate. It's sacrilege. Why would you ruin perfection? Is the roomie a dog? <laughs> That's my question. Okay. I, a reading for me and my pity Odin about having a roomie move in um, who is ill. But is the, the ill dog or a human? I think it's a human is what I get. I feel like pity 
is going to give that person a lot of healing energy. Uh, I feel that dog being leery and then realizing that that person needs that love and care. And over time, this, this is going to make a difference for them. Um, there's regeneration that'll happen mm -hmm. in some way. So I think that's a very good thing. Uh, Pity has a job. Odin has a job with this new roomie. Oh, that's so, nice. Yeah. That's nice. <clears throat> You know, I feel I feel like this is a very good thing to have this person move in. That you're a good person to have to to be to be in this situation to be able to help out. You're able to help out. It's gonna it's gonna go well. Um, sorry about the person that's ill. Um, I don't know who are we talking about. Her and her is that a pet? Uh, it's just Odin is the pity. Od Odin is the is the dog okay and, yes. all right so uh, the dog <laughs> the dog's gonna do well with this um but mainly the person that you're that's coming in that's not that's that's ill for a lot of places you know doing something like that it might be too much of a burden it's not for laura laura can laura's got this she can handle it uh obviously she's welcome somebody into her home that she already knows is not, you know, is going to need some extra help. And I think Laura is definitely the one to do this. Uh, she can handle it. She can, it'll all be good. The dog will, the dog will be good about it too. Yeah. That's so true. that's really a nice thing for you to do also. So thank you for doing that to help, mm -hmm. help me out like that. Yeah. I like that. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. And so joyful journey. And then for you two, we've got uh, Nivra. So joyful journey and Nivra, please let us know that you are here. So um, Allison, you and I have joyful journey. What does spirit want me to know? Um, you want me to go first? Sure. Yeah, go for it. So, um, Joyful Journey, um, I asked for some clarifiers and I didn't really get them. So hopefully you know what this is regarding. Um, sometimes I can ask and I'm not really told. So I feel like maybe it's just not for me to be uh, digging into. But the message I'm getting here is there's something that um, Spirit wants you to reflect on, possibly even remember. I don't know what, how much detail so that you can emotionally leave it alone. You can walk away from it. So to me, that means like heal it. I have no idea what this is. Um, and then it, I do it. This is something that is, um, I feel like maybe I'm getting this. Maybe this is something that you don't necessarily remember. This could even be something from childhood that you like maybe have an inkling that this thing happened or you heard it or whatever um, you witnessed it. I don't know. And it doesn't mean that it's, ooh, you know, bad, scary or anything, but it's probably, you know, obviously I would think something to do with family. Uh, it is something that would matter to you, but I have the high priestess with the Hierophant here. This is about, you know, family tradition, you know, family values, that kind of thing. Um, I did ask for a clarifier on the first two cards that I got here, which is the two of wands, the eight of cups. I got the page of swords of the devil. So this is like truth about whatever this thing is. Um, oh, it looks like I'm buffering. I'm so sorry. I hope my message is coming through. It is. Um, and I, I got the five of wands on the high priestess and the hierophant. To me, this is like inner struggle is what I'm getting off of that. So, Whatever this is, spirit wants you to know, yeah, deal with that or try to come to terms with whatever this is. But that's mm -hmm. what I got. Thank you. And Joyful, um, I have the nine of wands for you. Spirit wants you to, uh, to make sure that what you are carrying with you is what you still should be carrying with you. 
It's tiresome. <sighs> However, you're almost done with carrying it. So this is a key thing. You're almost done with it. As well as I have the judgment card. And so this is an opportunity when you're almost done with it. It's then time and opportunity for you to go, you know what? Did that work for me? Do I want that? Do I want to continue that? It gives you the ability to look at the big picture of life. Because once you have done that, then we have the eight of cups. Then you will be able to walk away in full understanding that you're leaving it behind. So this is actually a really beautiful reading because you're, 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 you're doing your work. <clears throat> it's time to be able to do that judgment. And then you're going to be, uh, uh, then you're going to be able to walk away from it. So it's all good. And, uh, and uh, Allison will be right back. She has got the, uh, got the uh, buffering issues. So, um, so thank you, Joyful Journey. And Star Midnight, Mary Louise, and Pierrette. So, Cleo and Val, here's your question. How will these eclipses impact my current relationship? Hopefully, physical blocks will be removed. Thank you. Well, when I tune in, Nivra, I feel like you're like this really bubble of energy, but your partner's a little bit withheld. And so I, I feel like these eclipses are going to um, give him a lot of angst in particular, and he may not share what's going on with him. And you may not realize that there's a whole internal thing going on. You may feel like you're in the deep freeze with it. Uh, but what's happening is um, uh, you have to let someone be able to work through their stuff on their own. Don't try and prompt and get them to come out of it. Just hold the space because I see you with divine feminine energy. Remember to nourish yourself through this. And while you're not getting a lot of things from your partner, give it to yourself create that space that everyone needs, including yourself, while uh, all of these things are happening. Because you will be receive peaks of joy for yourself, although some things are hidden. Um, let, let those come out on their own for, for others and yourself. Set your intention. Uh, you really have the ability to create your field of dreams, but you have to let someone else do their own thing and you do you, you stay balanced. You stay in your beautiful energy. Um, you have a loyal heart. This is something that you have and you're poised to really be in this beautiful divine feminine energy. Take care of yourself and let your uh, partner do their own thing. Just give them and you send them a lot of light and love and while they're going through their stuff. That's all we can do, it basically. So that's it. Okay. Well, Nivra, I've got uh, similar to what uh, Val is talking about. But for one thing, this is a period during these eclipses for you, especially to stay grounded. For your partner, um, I have a card that says, that asks these questions. It says, what brings you together? What pulls you apart? What needs your attention? So I don't see that the eclipse is necessarily going to remove blockages, but um, I think it's going to, is kind of going to smooth out the edges for it so that you have an opportunity to do exactly what this just said. Um, I also think that if everybody just kind of chills and lets things happen and bring in this more positive energy, that you could actually renew your relationship. You could kind of like go on like, 
uh, like a like a mini honeymoon, you know, where where when you just find when you guys first got together, maybe you know, we can go back to something like that. But I don't think that the the eclipse is going to necessarily impact your relationship that much. But I do see that if you just ask the questions that I had just talked about in your relationship and going through this whole thing and allowing this energy to come through, that it could be a really nice, uh, beautiful, positive thing for your relationship. So I hope it goes that way. And that's what I have to offer for that question. Oh. We can't hear you, Gerald. Muted. I was saying the most philosophical and incredible, uh, you know, gems, and you all <laughs> couldn't hear it. I was actually saying, hi, Allison. Welcome back. Okay. Hi. I'm so sorry, us, everybody. Allison? I can't. Okay. If it happens again, I'm just going to go. Well, no. We, we, we don't want you to leave. Well, okay. I just don't want to disrupt the entire show. No, that's my job. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have Star Midnight, and Mary Louise uh, is next for Cleo and Val. Star Midnight is here. Will I be moving in the next two months? I am working. Uh, I am worried that it will not happen. I am hoping that it will happen. So... And by the way, um, Heather from Soul Alchemy with Indigo Jaguar has been putting links to people's channels in the chat. Thank Aww, you. Thank you. Thank you. So, Star Midnight. I'm going to go first, What's okay? What's going on? This should be fine. We can see you. Now she's gone. Okay, so if anybody else wants to pop in, that would be great. Star Midnight. Um, this is the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is saying that um, you know you're you're worried that it won't happen, and and what's happening is is your worry is preventing it from actually happening as smoothly as possible. Be careful with what you put out there. Instead, expect it to happen, do the energy work, and manifest that to keep things on the, 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 it's going to happen, you're going to, and how you're going to feel when it's done, because you have got a lot of things that have been going on, and this moving is just another thing that's on top of it. This is the Ten of Swords. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. That being said, Star Midnight... We have for you the star. And I love this. Anytime that this card shows up in a reading, this is the universe is conspiring for you to be successful. This is your dreams will come true. So focus on what you are, what is happening that you want and how you're going to feel when it happens. Because the universe is lining things up for you. You do have to pay a little bit of attention around you to to see the hints and the clues about where to go. So star, I hope that helps star midnight. But I love the star midnight got the star. I don't do love that. And I just want to throw in here what Gerald said is absolutely true. Don't concentrate on the worry or the knots because the universe doesn't hear that. They only hear it as a positive thing. In other words, if you're saying, oh, I don't want to go to blah, 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 it'll send you to blah, 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 because it doesn't yeah. hear the... Yeah, it doesn't hear the so negative. Just only focus on what exactly what you want to happen. Exactly. Because the universe is funny that way. <laughs> it's just, yes. It's just All right. Weird. Star Midnight, thank you very much. Yeah. And we have Mary Louise. Then we have Pierrette, Peppermint Candy, B.A. Haven, Karen Trout, Nana Heather, 
Lisa Keller and Ellen R. Those are the people that are on the list. Ellen R., Lisa Keller, Nana Heather, Karen Trout, B.A. Haven, Peppermint Candy, Chiaret, and Mary Louise. Um, and Star Louise said it does, or Star, Star Louise, Star Midnight says it makes sense. Yeah. So, it's funny um, what that is. Mary Louise. Let's get, see if Mary Louise is here. Okay. You know what I'm going to do, right? Yes. Let's do it. All right. Ring, ring. <laughs> Mary Louise. Please pick up the white courtesy phone. Mary Louise. Please pick up the white courtesy phone. And Mary Louise is here. here. <clears throat> so I oh, think sure. the three of us probably, all three of us could probably do this. Yeah. But, uh, so we're, we're going to do that. And personally, I really like these type of questions. So yeah, these are good. Yes. Uh, yeah. And I, I just want you to know, uh, Mary Louise, it looks like you're looking at different options and paths you can take. So you're definitely sitting in a position where it looks like you're going to be making decisions. You're trying to decide. And you have all these cards coming up about change and decisions. And you're really ending a successful portion of your life. And you're starting out on something new. So here it is. There's your journeying out, looking at different things making a decision of where to go. Here's your wheel of fortune showing you that change is about and you're creating something new because you're ending a cycle successfully. What are you bringing in? Your life is a canvas. This is like the fool. You are starting out creating a fresh new you from a new canvas. Let go of everything that no longer serves you because you're creating from a fresh clean slate. This is just gorgeous energy, Mary Louise. I love this for you. And I know that you are going to create something fabulous. So wow. good for you. Mary Louise, I got almost the exact same thing as Val. I got detached. So whatever was going on that you completed, that you were working on, let it go. It's time to let it go. It was good or I, I'm assuming because the next card I get is celebrate. So all the things that you've been working towards, it's time for celebration. It's time to say, you know, pat yourself on the back. Yay. It happened or whatever I was working on is going good. And so, yeah, very cool reading. It just, it goes right along with what Val was saying. Love yes. That. Well, and let's multiply that by three because I have something similar. I have the nine of cups, which uh, Mary Louise, spirit wants you to know that where you are is because of your work. You, it is in, you are encouraged to enjoy it emotionally, allow it to emotionally fulfill you. Things are going to start getting moving very quickly. This is the eight of wands. This is the card of rapid advancement, rapid insight, rapid creativity. Guess what? It's rapid. So, you know, hold on. And it, it leads into the seven of cups, which is the card about dreaming of possibilities the challenge with the seven of cups is, is to not get caught up in all of the possibilities. Instead, look at those as, wow, all of this is possible. I'm going to start with that one and then start. Don't just sit there and go, oh, wow, this is all great. It's groovy and all that stuff. I mean, do that for only a little bit of time. So, it, But it's great. And, and what's interesting is, is I got to, Nine, eight, and a seven. Oh man, I love so that. I love that, that advice because when she goes to that new layer of her life, starting fresh, she don't just sit there and go, "Ah, man, this is cool." <laughs> Put something to focus on. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be great. And and by the way, Allison said, "Sorry, everyone, my connection is extremely oh. unstable. I don't want to continue no. to interrupt the show." I'll get the issue corrected and see you next time. Oh, 
Also, oh, no longer um, subbed to Gerald? Question mark. Resubbed. It's okay. okay. That's what happens? These things happen. Yes, no, Starfish Jenny is up. here. It's YouTube. <laughs> and by the way, I made Shelly Joe um, crack up. <laughs> My work here is done. He's got, he's got that effect on all of this, Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Louise said, oh, wow, uh, your reading made me cry. It was spot on. Thank wow. you so much. Cool. You're very welcome. Yeah. You're very celebrate. welcome. Celebrate. Celebrate. Remember that. It's time to celebrate. Yes. Celebrate is great. Celebrate. Yeah. Is Pierrette here? And then mm -hmm. we have Peppermint Candy, B.A. Haven, uh, Karen Trout, Nana he uh, Heather, Lisa Keller, and Ellen R. So, Pierrette, if you're here, Pierrette is here. Okay. And oh goodness, we'll be able to buy a car this summer. You know, Pierrette, I'll just jump in here and tell you I think you need to get rid of the worry about it and decide in this way I am going to buy a car, is going to come to me this summer. I'm going to have a car this summer because what I get here is you're worried. And I get another no card, but then I get some energy going toward it, definitely. So this, this is a, what the universe is trying to say to you. Manifest your car in the positive and everything will flow to you that, from that. <laughs> what does it say? Ask for help. So go to divine guidance and say, or go to the, the Cosmic Ordering Service and manifest and pay attention to signs coming up for you because these will – and speak up. Hey, everyone, I need a car. <laughs> speak up to the universe. You're, you're – this is here. The universe is here to serve you. What would you like? Say it in the affirmative and – all will be well. This is kind of what they're trying to say. Um, so I hope that makes sense for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just, I see that, you know, when when you say, will I be able to buy a car? Sure, but will it be the kind of car you want? And I'm, I'm assuming you're saying, can I afford to buy a car this summer? And, um, you know, I don't know how you're doing with with money, but um, you will be able to do that. But don't don't buy some don't take on something just because you think that you're going to save some money by buying a used car. Well, actually, used cars now cost as much as new cars. Yeah. But um, There'll, there'll be some different uh, things that will come up. You might see some cars for sale that you're thinking you might want. Be really careful and check it out very closely. Make sure it's mechanically sound. But I, you'll be able to buy a car. I don't know if it'll be the kind of car you really want. So, you know, if it, if it takes more money, you might want to wait a little bit to get the one that's fits more with what you want and be careful of looking at something from the outside. It looks like it's great, but then the inner workings are not doing well. So I say you can buy a car this summer. Just be careful. Yeah. Um, because, sorry, I was, I'm doing multitasking, Gerald. And I'm doing it poorly. Thank you. <laughs> I am doing it poorly. So um, Twisted Sushi is here. And uh, Pierrette said, thank you, Val. Thank you, Cleo. Um, uh, Pierrette, I got, I mean, there are lots of choices that are involved in this. I got the Two of Swords again. And then I have the Tower. And I have the Four of Swords. I'm not sure if summer, it's going to happen this summer. Mm-hmm. Because part of it is, is you have to, the funds are not there. The foundational work isn't there. Talk to people so that they know that you're looking for a car. Um, and I have the five of wands. Because if you try to buy a car 
uh, it, you're going to you're going to have to do some negotiation, and it may not be it may not go well. So it could also be. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'll I'll just uh, I'll just be clear. This is not caffeinated and unfiltered. Somebody is going to try to jerk you around, yeah, tell you it. a car that's not exactly what it is, and you're going to end up. It's going to cost you more than what you. That's why I had the bullying card. It's like getting a, a shark salesman to sell, try and sell you something. And then the next card was, you know, it, it, it's really about that journey of, but the first thing to do is get your mindset out there to order what you want out of the yeah. universe so that the energy coming to you. And just like Gerald said, speak about it, ask people just yeah. like the Let cards. Said, know what you're for looking for. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Say it. Yeah, really, I get that too. Put put it out there, and because there may be a friend of a friend yeah. that has a car that you'd be suited for, but yeah. then there's also this other guy that that Gerald's talking about that's going to say, "Hey, look, this car, look, it's straight yeah. tires yeah. are good. This is good, and that." And then you buy it, and you you end up like fifteen hundred dollars, and you need more repairs. Exactly. You know, just. Be careful with that. But I do see that there is possibility that a friend of a friend of a friend has something that they're feeling that they're not trying to make a whole bunch of money on it. And yes. they see somebody that's in need of transportation yeah. and they might want to help you out. So it can go either way, but you definitely need to put it out there. Tell everybody, hey, I'm looking for a car. You know anybody that's got a car they want to sell? Let yeah. me know. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Thank you, Pierrette. Um, I see BA Haven, but I have not seen candy, uh, peppermint candy. Uh, so peppermint candy, please let us know that you're here because you will be next. And um, BA Haven. Um, okay. And, and BA Haven said, I have no idea what I would ask. And oh, and peppermint is here. Thank you. Thank well, you. I'm gonna, just going to look at your picture of Guinness, and I'm just going to. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read on that. You're, you're, you're up next, and so, um, and I think I. This is the sort of thing. I, it's just going to be a flat out general, and we're we're going to go from there, and okay. then peppermint is up. All Hi, right. Jacob. Good to see you. Uh, so, yeah. Well, we're, we're going for BA Haven right now. Yes, yeah. we're going for BA Haven, and we're just going to do, you know, I have no idea what I would ask, so there That's you go. Who needs another glass of beer? <laughs> I know. Well, I feel like, you know, I, I got this up in the air card for you, and I, I, because it was by the King of Roses, I, I feel like there's love in your life, but it's kind of up in the air. And I, I, I don't know if that's literal love or just this feeling about around you. Because this is something that I got the Akashic field. It's something like beautiful energy coming to you or um, uh, that kind of relationship. And I feel like for you, opening up but grounding yourself when you're in a relationship is really important because I kind of feel like you're up in the air in the la la land you know how we kind of romanticize a relationship they're wanting you to bring it down and see people as they are in front of you not in a romantic sense but see them as they literal literally show up unfixed just how they are because that's what they're saying to me is look at life in a loving way but a realistic way and for you to be able to move through life in a very balanced and centered way, that grounding is really important. So you can see what's in front of you in a realistic way, if that makes sense. Yeah. B.A. Okay. Haven. Okay. For, for this person, B.A. Haven, uh, it's interesting that you say you have no idea what to ask. And, that this is it's time for you to start asking some questions in order for you to move on um, and, and, um, and grow. 
it's time. And that's what I got a card that just said, it's time to do this. You need to start asking yourself, what is it? What am I doing? I mean, like if your life is just kind of going by, like, okay, you work or you go to school or you do whatever you do and you come home and you're just doing the same thing over and over again. It's not that you're not accomplishing anything, but you, you would, you kind of need some change in your life. You want something to kind of inspire you. And in one way that you, that can happen is if you kind of ask yourself, yeah, what what the heck is going on? What do I want right now? What where where am I going with this? Just ask yourself some questions because when you get to this point where you start making a few changes in your life, it it goes well. It goes really well, and you won't be so bored. <laughs> <laughs> and things will start. Need a, need a glass of Guinness. To <laughs> yeah, or, or two. And so, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's what I would do is just start asking yourself those questions. I actually have for you, BA Haven, I have judgment. Uh, you're smart. You have good judgment. You're not, nobody is going to try to pull one over on you. So understand you're smart. Lean into that. Six of Pentacles, there's an opportunity for you to share some of your wisdom. I don't know if you're eligible to do a to do a uh, a partnership or mentorship. I don't know with your experience if that could be helpful for people who are new in a field. It just feels like you're smart and you have an opportunity to share things. I also have the Nine of Cups, which is a beautiful card. You're, you're happy where you are, and that is exactly where you need to be because you're emotionally satisfied. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. I mean, yes, now is a great time to be asking questions. If you have an opportunity to do some mentoring, business mentoring, something along those lines, this is a great time to do that because it's going to invigorate you. It's going to enliven you talking to some people who are new on a path. So, so that's what I have for you, BA Haven. So uh, I hope that makes some sense to you. Um, please let well, us know. Somebody that didn't ask a question and got three different answers. I think that that's, we're doing pretty good. <laughs> uh, well, well, I thought, I thought, well, I thought they related well together. So Karen <laughs> Trout, if you're here, please let us know. Karen Trout and Nana Heather and, Thank you, Peppermint Candy. How does spring look for me financially? Thanks. Financially. Oh, I don't need to go past. Oh, oh, man. All of the sounds that you oh, don't my God. Want a reader to say. Oh, ooh, ooh. actually, those are happy sounds. Oh my gosh. Nine of Pentacles. Hello. <laughs> the lap of luxury. Queen of Pentacles. Very nice. And Wheel of Fortune. So wow. I would say that you are doing splendidly financially in springtime. So be ready for that and enjoy it. I think everything that you, it's like your ship is coming in mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah cleo what do you have my cards just i i they don't resonate they're just they're not right but when i first saw this question i thought well it's gonna it's gonna be kind of a nice nice spring for you and then val takes off on something <laughs> just amazing so i'm gonna i'm gonna roll with that you know, things are looking up for you. Uh, finances are looking good. So enjoy mm. your spring. Well, I actually have, I have the world, which is, which mm. is a great card financially. There's opportunities. There's new things that are coming. We mm. also have the king of pentacles, which is mastery of mm. your money. It's also asking the tough questions around the money not just the you know not just for today but how will this impact the future mm. and i think that's a really important thing 
I do have the eight of uh, swords. It feels very much like what's going to happen is, is you're going to start getting a little bit, you're going to see things that don't exist. If it, if it seems like too good of an idea, it really is. Don't follow through with it. <laughs> so be, be very careful with that. <laughs> but uh, with the world and the King of Pentacles in particular related to money, that, that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. And remember, for entertainment purposes only. Absolutely. So, um, thank you, Peppermint Candy. Yeah. And I'm so sorry for your loss, Teacher Barbara. Teacher Barbara had a friend who oh. um, recently was diagnosed and then passed away. Oh. And um, Artist Liz, unfortunately, we um, are we're done taking questions at this time. So we've got a few questions left before we we end um did karen trouch uh say hi um, okay looking for karen well you know what i'm gonna have to do yeah karen trout please pick up the white courtesy phone karen trout Please pick up the white courtesy phone. <laughs> so, and um, uh, a peppermint candy said, "Thank you for that reading. Very encouraging." So very good. And I'm not seeing Karen. Hmm. Okay. Karen's not here. Is Nana Heather here? Nana Heather. All right, here you go. Karen Trout, Nana Heather, Lisa Keller, Ellen R. Please pick up the white courtesy phone and let us know that you're here. <laughs> so, Heather Caldwell has arrived. Oh, thank you, Miss Charlotte. Nana Heather is here, so uh nana heather is next karen trout lisa keller ellen r um, we'll do nana heather let me get that will my gardener helper continue to work for me and lisa keller is here thank you you're up next lisa so will my gardener for nana heather will my gardener helper continue to work for me Interesting. <clears throat> well, I'm getting that. <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of yin energy. This is the male energy. This is that kind of outward going energy. And there is a loyal heart in intermixed. I don't know who has it or how it's feeling. But there is a loyal feeling. Uh, but not only did I get the Four of Swords, but I also got time for a nap. So I cannot say that they are actually going to continue to work for you, but take a break. There's some kind of time in repose coming. So that's what the cards say. There's something they're dealing with. Mm. There's something going on. So, um, yeah, that's what I get. Sorry yeah, about Nana, that. Anna. Nana, I, I get uh, that you need to kind of protect yourself. So what that might mean in this situation is uh, the gardener may not be back. Or the work that he does, he or she does for you is just, uh, you're not as happy with it as you have been in the past but i also see that um there might be somebody else coming up i don't know if it's a friend of your current gardener or somebody else that went by your house and said hey this looks like this person needs some gardening um 
So just be open to the possibility that somebody new is coming in around mm -hmm. to help you out in the garden. Uh, Nana Heather said, I think he thinks I work him too hard. Oh. And, uh, well, I have the Herophant, which says the two of you, before gardening season starts, talk about what the expectations are. Just mm -hmm. clarify that to make sure that everybody is on the same page. Mm -hmm. So that that's an important thing. Uh, Cleo, what else were you going to say? I'm sorry, I interrupted. No, that's fine. I, I just was thinking, um, Nana, that um, when <laughs> the gardeners that think you're working him to are, we have a gardener here. And, and as long as we tell him exactly what we want, that's exactly what we get. No more, no less. So... I, I don't, you know, I, you know, if maybe if this person's not, you know, if you're talking about uh, bringing trees down or, you know, something really hard that maybe needs another person to work with him or something, then I could see that. But as far as working them too hard, I'm, I'm sure you're paying him and that's what he gets paid for. And if it's hard, too hard for him, then go ahead, find somebody else because, a lot of these gardeners I've seen, at least around my area, that they're they're really good and they don't mind working their butts off to to get yeah. whatever it is they want out of that. You know, the hourly wage or the by the job or something like that. You're paying them, so you're paying them to do something. And um, I, I do see that there's a different gardener coming coming around that's not going to look around like this is too hard for me, or this is too much work for the money. If most gardeners I know that you see, you do something like that. They, they know you're not going to keep them around. So uh, I think, I think, like I said, this guy can, he can come out of his, uh, Oh, don't work me so hard routine <laughs> to, uh, you know, he's getting paid to do a job. However, there may be somebody else. Okay. And he gets, he well. gets paid. Well, well, there you go. I mean, you know, that you're you're just saying this is what I want done, and he's saying this is what I'm gonna you know what it's gonna cost. So don't worry about working him too hard. And if he if he does still come across like that, or if he just starts to get sloppy, you need a new guy. Exactly, exactly. Well, and I I also have the Nine of Pentacles, which yeah. is somebody who is in her garden. So if you're able to get out there and do some of the work, it could be helpful. However, stay out of his way. You know, stay out of your gardener's way. Um, you you guys might come to blows about some things. This is the two of swords. Uh, you you know, maybe somebody else needs to come in. Maybe this person's mm -hmm. going to be taking a break or something like that. Your gardener, and um, so yeah, you know, be, be uh, you know, be be clear and concise. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, all right. Thank you, Nana Heather. Um, and I did see Linda Keller in the chat, I believe. Lisa. Lisa, sorry. Lisa Keller, right? Yes, mm -hmm. Lisa Keller. Uh, I am still checking on Karen Trout and Ellen R. If the two of you are here, please let us know. So we have Lisa Keller. Hi, I would like a general reading, please. Thank you. And Ellen is here. Am I supposed to go first, Val? Oh, I'm sorry. I was, no, I was just like, go ahead. Go ahead. It's, it's go ahead. one of those things that I was like, I was looking at Val and I'm like, and she's still shuffling, Gerald. You go first. <laughs> go ahead. Um, okay. So, Lisa Keller, you'd like a general reading. This is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune reminds us that things change. Seasons move. Things are going to show up that you're not prepared for. Things are going to show up that you knew they were going to happen and you're going to be ready for them. 
How you respond to this is very important. Are you staying centered? Are you staying centered? Because if you're out here on the extremes, when that wheel turns, you're going to get really discombobulated. It's going to take you off center. So uh, Lisa, I would say spend some time grounding, finding your center. I also have then I have the four of swords. It's important for you to remember to rest. Uh, Lisa, you're not really sleeping well, are you? You're not <laughs> shutting your brain down. This is the card of giving your giving your brain an opportunity to not think about things. So, or you're caught up in what you're thinking about. Try something else. Try word find Sudoku. Yeah, something along those lines, just to give your brain something else to think about. I also have, I also have here, this is the Ten of Pentacles. This is a great card. I always love this. This is about tradition. It's about family. It's about extended family. This is a very, very happy and very solid card. So that's what I have for you. That's nice. That's yeah, nice. Great. Um, I have for you, Lisa, a lot of expansion coming in for you. And, and to validate that, it says change is coming. So you notice these transformational butterflies. So be ready for that in a good way. But mm -hmm. this is a blessing, no matter what it looks like when change happens in your life. Always look at the silver lining. And the great thing is after the dust settles later, you look back and go, oh, yeah, I'm out of that situation or whatever it is that's happening. But it's it's almost over. Whatever that is that's shifting and changing. Now, there's something about trees coming up for you from a past life. Some kind of nurturing and beautiful energy that you get healing energy and wisdom and connection that you have in nature out specifically trees, but in nature, there's something about stargates are opening for you now and or Akashic stargates aligned with purpose crossroads, no wrong path. This is when I see these energetic gateways, um, I always know someone is going through a huge transformation and I know whatever is coming through for you, you're going to be getting in a lot of light codes and information from the Arcturians, a lot of energy coming in. And even if this doesn't mean anything to you now, you're going to get new ideas and insights dropped into your mind and you will be looking at things a little differently in a good way. So be brave and open up. And that's that's my reading. Be wow. brave and open up. All right. Well, one of the things I got right off was expand. And that's so, what Val was saying. So, and also to break free of, of past uh past situations um, it's not really breaking free from the people that care about you but some of the past things that have gone on you're it's it's part of your tribe but you're done with it for now and so you need to break free from that and then also this expand thing is to uh, the card says it says you're being asked to expand you live in a huge world with endless possibilities and staying safe in the known is no longer working for you. It's time to make your world just a little bit bigger. It's time to imagine the possibilities and go for them. So along with what Val said and then what these cards have said, it's actually really a nice reading. Um, it's not like you're in terrible straits or anything. It's just time to let a few things go. Don't, don't linger, in, linger in the past move forward and expand. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, that's great. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. I hope that makes some sense to you. Let us know. And um, Ellen R. 
is our last reading. We've been on for just over an hour. Thank you for everybody who's who's popping in. Um, and Ellen R. Um, reading, please, on planned vacation this summer. Do the guides like my plans? Um, or Okay, we've also got it here. Reading on planned summer vacation. Do the guides think it is a good idea? Or they do they think I should make other plans? So... <laughs> Well, you know, your guides are never going to tell you what to do. <laughs> Man, and what do I get? It's time to play. You know, oh. get out there and enjoy yourself. Just remember, um, no matter where you go, you're protected. And make sure your angels and guides are, you know, bring them along. <laughs> Talk to them. Say, oh. you know help them, you know, recognize the signs from above is what they're actually yeah. saying. They're guiding you no matter where you are or where you go. And they say, get out and have fun. So whatever it is that you're planning to do, just remember one thing, take your power back. Don't give your power away to others, no matter where you are or who you're with, your boundaries and your own sacred space you need to honor yourself first no matter what is happening and if you're feeling uncomfortable about something or you're not in alignment with something speak it out and share that and stand in that truth um, this is a message for you on that trip but always always and uh, on if you might do something else Increase your knowledge about where you're going. What can you learn? Let that stimulate you for new ideas and activities, whatever you're going to look at. Expand that horizon by this trip. You're going to get a broader awareness. So I love that. So that's great. Mm. Ellen, enjoy wow. that. Trip. Ellen, you know, I, I think what you have planned is perfect, but just be ready for uh, to be flexible on it. Like you're probably t thinking, okay, I'm going to go to point from point A to point B to C to D, but there might be something coming up down the road that kind of goes off into a different track, different different road a little bit. Go for that too. Make it an adventure because uh, that ties, last card cinches it. It ties into a study vacation. Yes. And I got the chills just now as you read that because I see you really expanding your awareness out. It just, and it's a beautiful yeah, energy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. And definitely since as long as you're out there doing this and you've got time to do it, expand wherever you can. If you see something like, well, I hadn't really planned on doing this, but think about it, do it anyway. I think that there's a bunch of things that will be uh, just enlightening for you to try some some stuff that you had, you really hadn't planned on. You might want to take a little extra money with you too. You might want to take a little extra money with you and you also might want to build in a, a random day or two just for adventure. Because as you said that, Cleo, I have the Knight of Wands, which is the, ooh, let's follow that shiny object. Let's do that because you're going to get somewhere. You're going to you're going to see an opportunity to go on some sort of a tour, and there you go. You're going to get that adventure. This is absolutely a good a good thing. This is the world. Yes, it, it looks great. It looks great. Um, and make sure that you take times to emotionally experience the vacation. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because this is the queen of cups. Rush, mm -hmm. rush, 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 rush. Yeah. Makes for an exhausted vacation. Yeah. Um, you can rush, but then pause so that you can have all of your, have your emotions catch up with you. Because I don't know what kind of studying you're doing. If it's a study vacation, you're going to need, you're going to need, a, um, you're going to need study hall to process all of the stuff that you're going through. So... And, uh, but yeah, so that's great. Thank you, Eleanor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Thanks for that. This has been wonderful. 
thank you everyone very much for joining us. Please remember to do all of the liking, sharing, and subscribing because just like Allison, unfortunately discovered, well, fortunately discovered that she wasn't subscribed to me, but now she is. So, um, Ooh, um, yeah, there you go. Lucky, lucky. Uh, thank you. Lucky me. I got three great readings. Yes. Yeah. BA Haven. Thank you all. Peace and blessings. Oh, I, I like this. Savor the flavors. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's great. Yes. That is good. And uh, thank you, Mary Louise. Thank you, Earth Star One. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody who joined us and is, is still watching. We do appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I actually, we are... Let me let me get my calendar out. Uh, next Monday at this time on 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 uh, April first, it's a caffeinated and unfiltered. Yes, gird your loins. <laughs> gird our loins, okay, or them, us, the readers, no, or it's just anybody who's watching. Gird your loins. It's going to be a fun show. So. And, um, Thank you, artist Liz, for being here. Um, and I'm doing some I'm doing some yes or no readings on Friday, uh, and I'm doing readings in the morning on Jane the Seeker's Tarot. Wow! So very good. So, yeah. Excellent. And um, thank you, Lisa Niedermeyer. Yeah, April Fools, and who knows what will happen? <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, maybe maybe we could get um, maybe we could get Val to use um, a, a, a word that she might not normally use instead of Cleo. Think we could do that? I don't uh, know. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah, people will just have to tune in and see. So, all right. Every, uh, thank you, everyone, and you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and. Take care. Bye. Bye.